Now gather round, y'all. Let me spin ye a tale from the heart of old Kentucky. A tale that will send a chill down your spine and make you think twice about walking alone in the dark. This here is the story of Leia Smock, known to some as the Battletown Witch. Back in the mid-1800s, Battletown was a quiet little place nestled in a small community just south of Louisville, Kentucky. Folks there were simple, hard-working, and mighty superstitious. They trusted in what they could see and touch, and anything beyond that was often seen as a work of dark forces. It was in this shadowy time that young Leah Smock came into the world. Leah was a peculiar child, always wandering off into the woods, talking to plants and animals like they were her kin. She was not only beautiful, but also incredibly intelligent, with a mind that thirsted for knowledge. Her ma, bless her heart, said she was just a curious soul, but the folks in town started whispering that there was something unnatural about her. Leah had a special friend, a wise Cherokee man who lived nearby, who taught her the secrets of the forest, the names and the uses of every herb, root, and flower. From this friend, Leah learned how to heal wounds, cure fevers, and brew potions that seemed almost magical to those who witnessed their effects. But in them days, a woman with such knowledge was often feared more than respected. As Leah grew older, her reputation spread. Stories were told of how she could cure a fever with just a touch, or brew potions that made crops grow tall and strong. Some said that they saw strange lights dancing in her eyes, or heard her whispering to the wind. The more she helped, the more folks grew wary, and soon them whispers turned to fears. One hot, sticky summer, tragedy struck Battletown when a beloved horse and a baby both died under mysterious circumstances. Leah had been denied permission to touch the horse and the baby just days before their death. Some whispered that with her intelligence and unique gifts, she might have sensed something was wrong and wanted to help. But instead of seeking her aid, the townsfolk saw her actions as ominous. As fear and superstition took hold, they blamed Leia for the death, claiming she'd cursed the horse and the child, said she'd made a pact with the devil himself. Leia's knowledge of plants and herbs was unparalleled in Battletown, a gift passed down from her Cherokee friend. She knew every leaf, root, and berry in the forest, and she understood their powers intimately. One dark day, she warned the local farmers of a potentially poisoned pond, her eyes gleaming with an eerie certainty. She spoke poisonous plants growing near its edge, plants that spelled doom for any creature that drank the water. But the farmers, driven by their pride and distrust, ignored her caution. When their cattle soon lay dead in the field, their bloated bodies a grim testament to the poisoned water, the farmers raged, turned toward Leah. They claimed she had hexed the pond, her warning now twisted into a sinister prediction of their death. The whispers grew louder, the town's fear festering into hatred. One morning, when Leah's parents took the younger two smock children to town, two men seized their chance. They arrived at the house, and with cold, methodical precision, they bound Leah's hands and feet tightly before dragging her screaming to the nearby smokehouse. The small wooden building, used for curing meat, stood ominously as they forced her inside. Leah's frantic cries echoed through the empty field as she pounded on the door, begging for mercy. The men coldly ignored her pleas, 
setting the smokehouse ablaze and standing vigil to ensure her suffering. They did not leave until her desperate screams faded into the roar of the flames and the crackling of the fire, leaving only the cruel, searing heat behind. When Leah's parents returned and saw the smokehouse reduced to smoldering ruins, their grief was overwhelming. That night, as her mother wept inconsolably by the ashes, she was startled by a spectral vision. Leah's spirit appeared, floating above the charred remains, her face a haunting blend of sorrow and serene acceptance. Hey, Ma! She whispered through the rustling leaves of the wind, her voice carrying a chilling calm. I ain't gone. I'm still here watching over you. The eerie apparition left a lasting imprint of both anguish and peace, forever marking the land with its tragic tale. Leah's body was laid to rest in what would become the Betsy Daly Cemetery, now known for its eerie stillness in Meade County, Kentucky. Leah was the first to be buried there, her grave marked with a simple weather-worn stone. Over the years, others joined her in this somber resting place, but her grave remained the most visited, a site of both reverence and fear. Locals spoke in hushed tones about strange occurrences and whispers heard among the graves, as if the earth itself held the secrets of Leia Smop, the first soul interred in that haunted ground. Years passed, but the memory of Leia Smock lingered like a shadow over Battletown. Some say her spirit still walks the woods at night, a ghostly figure searching for justice. Others claim to hear her voice in the wind, whispering secrets and warning to those who dare listen. And every so often, a young woman with dark hair, clad in a tattered white gown with her hands bound behind her back, can be seen wandering among the trees. Her face, pale and sorrowful, appears and disappears in the moonlight, a haunting reminder of the young woman who was feared for her gifts and cursed for her kindness. One moonless night, a group of local teens, looking for a thrill, decided to visit Leah's grave at midnight. They gathered their courage and made their way to the small cemetery. The air was thick with the scent of earth and pine, and the night was deathly quiet. They stood by Leah's grave, their flashlights casting eerie shadows on the old stone. They waited, hoping to see something or hear something on the wind, but the night remained silent. After what seemed like hours, they grew restless and decided to leave. As they made their way back to their car, a strange feeling settled over them. The path seemed longer than it should have been, and no matter which way they turned, they kept finding themselves back at Leah's grave. Panic set in as they realized they were walking in circles, unable to escape the cemetery's grasp. Hours passed, and the teens grew more frightened, their voices trembling as they called out for each other. Just as the first light of dawn began to break, they finally stumbled upon their car, parked right where they left it. Shaken and exhausted, they piled in and drove away, never looking back. One Halloween night, a local NBC affiliate led by camera person Janine White and reporter Ezra Marcus ventured to the Betsy Daly Cemetery to broadcast the haunting tale of Leia Smock. After thoroughly checking their equipment, the crew hiked to the cemetery's heart for a live broadcast. But upon arrival, they were met with a chilling surprise. Every single battery was dead, and the equipment refused to turn on. 
Despite the eerie setback, they managed to record what they could with a couple functioning devices. Upon returning to their van, the crew was astonished to find all their equipment was fully functional and the batteries mysteriously recharged. With a total of 15 people involved in the broadcast, the incident left everyone puzzled and unnerved, adding yet another layer of mystery to Leia Smock's story. So if you find yourself in Meade County on a misty evening, take a moment to reflect on Leia Smock and the sorrowful tale that shadows the Betsy Daly Cemetery. Imagine the young woman who was once full of life and kindness, only to be met with such injustice and tragedy. What do you think happened to Leia? Do you believe her spirit still lingers, seeking solace and perhaps forgiveness? Have you heard whispers of this story before, or is this the first time you've come across it? We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. And if you're eager to explore Leia's Monk's story further, don't miss the Battletown Witch Festival this October. This family-friendly event will delve into the tragic and fascinating story of Leia Smonk, with historians sharing insights about her life and legacy. Kentucky Melody will be attending the festival, as we've recently uncovered Leia's story and find it to be a compelling and poignant part of Kentucky's history. We hope to see you there and share in this memorable experience. You will find a link to the event in the description below. So if you enjoyed this tale, be sure to like and subscribe to Kentucky Melody. Don't miss out on one more spine-chilling story on our podcast, Scary Stories from Kentucky. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, keep your lanterns close and your heart even closer.